have been in Bali for a while now, and it has been the perfect laboratory for my work. It's a place that runs on craftsmanship that has been passed on from one generation to the next. And I personally find it fascinating to integrate this know-how into a more contemporary context. Coming from conceptual art, I had many years where I created the works in my head, and then it was only about executing them. So I became kind of a fulfillment center for my own ideas, really. And slowly, I got bored. There just wasn't enough space for the unexpected to happen in my daily studio practice. So I was like, fuck it, let's just jump into the unknown. And my first impulse was that I wanted to paint again. But it felt like a room that was filled with so many dead painters that would all whisper nonsense into my ear, mainly that I shouldn't paint. So instead I went back to watercolors because I feel the way that the colors spread and merge into each other just automatically forces me to let go of control. There isn't really any room for second thoughts and it just feels like I'm walking on a tightrope watching fireworks, you know? So one day I woke up and I was like, man, I really want to paint with textile. So at this point I had zero experience working with embroidery. But I set up a studio, got the thread, bought a machine and I started playing around with it. Next thing I know, I'm surrounded by a whole team of local artisans working with me in the studio. And actually we haven't really stopped since that day. So I usually begin by drawing elements with chalk. The first line, it's the hardest, but it's also the most important because it creates an impulse. The first line leads to the next, which leads to another until the work slowly reveals itself. These chalk lines then get embroidered and through that they gain a certain authority. The rest is a very intuitive process. It's a back and forth between existing lines and new shapes, between chalk and embroidery, adding layer after layer. It's also a dialogue between my subconscious and the physical feedback of my studio team. My work usually ends up in a space somewhere in between abstraction and figuration. I don't want them to be over-articulated because I want the audience to feel like it's still in the process of becoming. When I create in that state, it's a bit like playing jazz, where every note, every movement and every thought follows from the previous one. The only rule is to keep saying yes and. Ultimately, my work is an invitation to trust intuition more, to explore the unexplored, to let the universe do its thing and be amazed by it.